guess who's back back again Mikey's back tell a friend hey everybody here in with another video for you guys today and today we're gonna be taking a look at all three sh official ships that Lego has released from the Pirates of the Caribbean films yep that's right as we sit here today these are the three ships and the three only ones we do not have a flying Dutchman which would be the fourth uh, from this series but uh, before I go any further, let me take a moment and say, if you like this video or any other video on my channel, please like, comment, and subscribe. I really appreciate it, guys. All right, uh, thank you. So uh, now let's get into it. We, of course, have the Black Pearl right here on the right-hand side. It's, uh, of course, Jack Sparrow's ship, which I'm assuming everybody, you know, should know. And then uh, right there in the center, we have the Queen Anne's Revenge. And that was actually originally Blackbeard's ship, and historically speaking, it was Blackbeard's ship. But then uh, Barbosa took it over in the fourth and fifth films. And then over here on the on the left, we have the Silent Mary, the ship that uh, appeared in the most recent uh, film, Dead Men Tell No Tales, and it is of course uh, captained by uh, Captain Salazar. And I have them set up, what, what I fear is uh, largest to smallest, so uh, the Silent Mary is the largest, followed by the Queen Anne's Revenge, and then uh, the Black Pearl actually uh, bringing up the rear there. And uh, you guys ask about these guys a lot, and so I thought it might be fun to take a look at all three of them together at the same time. So uh, let me, uh, without further ado, let's uh, check out some other angles. And as you can see here, all three ships I have backed up all the way against the wall here. So you can get an idea of the size difference. You can see the Silent Mary definitely sticks out the furthest, followed by Queen Anne's Revenge and the Black Pearl bringing up the rear. And not only that, the Silent Mary just sits up so much higher than uh, all other LEGO pirate ships to date. Not just the Pirates of the Caribbean ones, but all of them, including the Imperial flagship. So that's quite a, a unique, uh, different uh, point for the Silent Mary for sure. try to get in so you guys can get all kinds of uh, different views and vantage points you know etc etc I will of course look at uh, each ship a little bit more you know one on one and in depth momentarily Just wanted to give you guys some uh, different views. Now let's uh, take a look at them all up close, shall we? And uh, just for fun, I kind of decided to start with uh, Queen Anne's Revenge this time. And as you can see, of course, it has the more traditional cannons, as does the Black Pearl, where the Silent Mary has a, you know, a different cannon set up. Does have the crank to lower and raise uh, the anchor, which is a little bit different than most of the other ones tend to have. So that's a kind of a unique, A unique feature for the Queen Anne's Revenge, of course. And all the, you know, skulls and everything. It's definitely, uh, has a very unique and fun, uh, appearance. That sets it apart from pretty much every other Lego ship ever made. Try to get down in there so you can see the captain's quarters. 
which it does have a captain's quarters, unlike uh, the Silent Mary, but it is a rather small captain's quarters. And uh, this does come up so you can try and access it a little bit better, but it's still extremely, extremely small. There's the figurehead, masthead. It's just an overall, you know, beautiful, lovely ship. So now let's uh, take a look at a different one. And here we are with the Black Pearl, of course. And it does open up from uh, three different points of view, both on uh, both sides of the ship and then in the rear here, as well as uh, this does come off. So, you know, it has a lot of uh, ways to access the captain's quarters, which is really cool and was one of the better features of this set, in my opinion. And then here, you know, is the main deck. And uh, as I said before, in regards to the anchor, you know, see there's no crank, it's just kind of there and you just, you know, supposed to just toss it over the, just toss it over the edge. So that's not, uh, not quite as cool in my opinion. But you know, it does have a nice, uh, main deck look to it, I will say. And then of course the captain's quarters is just awesome. You know, one of the coolest captain's quarters in uh, any Lego pirate ship. Trying to give you guys all nice, uh, good angles everywhere. Here's the rear of the ship. And then here is the front uh, figurehead. I think they did a pretty good job trying to give it the look of the you know, angel, demon thing, whatever it is that is in the films. You know, it's not exactly 100% accurate, but, you know, not too bad, in my opinion. And there's Captain Jack himself. Very, very cool, which again, this one is clearly the smallest of the three ships. And uh, I typically get asked, you know, which ones should I get first, second, and third? Uh, because of the, of the availability and everything, I, I would recommend the Silent Mary first, followed by the Queen Anne's Revenge, and then uh, this one third. So that's my official recommendation on uh, the order to purchase each one because uh, the Black Pearl and the Queen Anne's Revenge are uh, retired sets, obviously. So now let's uh, take a look at the Silent Mary, shall we? And here we are, saving my uh, favorite for last. Try and give you guys incentive to watch the whole thing, right? Not like you can't just skip forward in the, the little bar. <laughs> but uh, here she is and all of her decrepit glory which of course it does have the feature that it can raise up and then uh, this does come down you know to give it a definitely a unique uh, play experience that uh, no other Lego pirate ships offer of course it's not made of a proper hull But these do uh, lift up and you can uh, access underneath it. Of course, it's, uh, it's setting on these little stands here. And then uh, one of the things that's been hard for me to come to grips with are these uh, micro-built cannons here. Uh, they're not the typical cannon molds. So, you know, that was, that's been a little bit of a shock to me that I'm still getting used to. It's definitely one of the, my least favorite aspects of this set, in all honesty. 
You know, I can I can I can get look past the lack of a hull. You know, just because it, this simulates what is in the films a little bit better. But the the cannons does kind of bother me. I'm not gonna lie about that. And then since I was talking about the anchors, I wanted to show you guys that yes, it does have anchors. It has one on each side, but they're not attached to a string, so therefore they don't lower or raise. They're literally just there uh, for looks and appearance. You know, some people really like this ship. Uh, others are not quite so sold. You know. I like it, I'm a fan. It's uh, definitely one of my favorites. And there is the front masthead. And then here is the, the rear of the ship. Uh, this one is actually easier just for me to get up and move and walk around than trying to move it itself. You know, it, it, it is a sturdy, it is a pretty sturdy set. I mean, yeah, it does rock a little bit and all that fell down. But being that it's not made on a hull, it's not as sturdy as uh, some of the other ones. And there is uh, Captain Salazar getting ready cause some kind of chaos and there we are with the silent Mary and here they all bar back in their original location and uh, let me wrap this video up by saying uh, all three are great fantastic ships that I recommend any pirate fan or uh, you know, Lego Pirates fan or Pirates of the Caribbean fan or you know any of the above all very try to get your hands on uh, you won't regret having any of them you know obviously the Queen Anne's Revenge and Black Pearl you know are a little bit more challenging so uh, if you're eyeing a pirate ship you know go to the Lego store order it online uh, get yourself the Silent Mary for certain and uh, that is my video for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, thanks everybody for watching. And uh, continue to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, I really appreciate it. And I hope to be seeing you guys again soon. Uh, take care, everybody.